we must get the best home on earth. If you believe that, shout a big amen. We must do what? I want to read one scripture and we talk. You may call it preaching, whatever you may call it, you may call it talking, you may call it discussion, anyhow you want to put it. But we have started. Esther chapter 5, verse 3. And the king said unto Esther, Who was Esther to the king? Talk. You are not forbidden to not to talk in the church. Talk. I know that there is something you need before you start preparing this kind of a table before me. What is it that you need? Tell me. Even if it means me, your husband, dividing this kingdom into two parts, and you become the queen and the king of one part, and I become the king of one part. That was a very stupendous promise. I want to be talking, or we will be discussing, on what I titled today, Bringing Out the King Dimension in Your Husband. Bringing out the King Dimension in Your Husband. Husband rejoice. You don't know what is coming next week. Praise the Lord. You know my team. Bringing out the king dimension from your husband. What does it mean to be a wife? What does it mean to be a wife? Being a wife is not all about I'm grown up, I'm big. I don't reach 21 years. I feel carry baby, I can born. I am 20 something years, I can born. I have boss on my chest. I have hip. I'm beautiful. That it does not make you a wife. Many ladies do not know what it means to be a wife. Neither do men. Some men knows what it means to be a husband. Horse that is banned. Have you heard that? <laughs> Horse that is what? Banned. When you ban something, that thing cannot be free. Hello? Hey, ladies. Young girl, don't disturb me. Allow me to enjoy my life. I didn't marry you to disturb me. I didn't marry you to block me. Eh? But who are you, Mr. Man? I am her husband. And what? Did I hear you well? I am her husband. A horse that she has banned. Divine, get up and sit down well. He said this thing. <laughs> he arranged himself say this thing <laughs> what are you born of you are born of seeing another woman you, your finances is born when you were youth you use it anyhow you dash anybody anywhere anytime any place but now that you are a horse that is born you don't you don't dash with that information. Your pocket does not belong to you. Your bank does not belong to you. That story is fast fast. Am I communicating? Uh, honey, give me my give me my ATM there. She ran and brought it. Why are you going to bank? Uh, which can kind of question be that now? Look at me. Shine your eye and look at me. Have you never asked your wife that kind of question? What, uh, you they go back and say, uh -huh, wait till me that. When did that one start? Have you not done that? But remember you are what? Horse. Bound. You are bound. 
not to be free as you were youth before. You are bound not to stand with a lady and talk too long. And when you come back, brother, please come. Wait till they talk. You, you, you stand with that sister for too long. So which, what, what is that? When did that one start now? Huh? It will start to... Uh, <laughs> Hello? Because you are what? You are bound. We may clap for yourself. Is he sweating you, women? <laughs> this is AG. AG means all the gospel. I cannot be preaching healing, deliverance, or breakthrough, and all those things without talking about preaching heaven, earth, sin, and all those things. Age is all the gospel. And I thank God for the grace he has given to me. I am not lacking anywhere as a man of God. Put me in any level. You see me entering inside. Praise the Lord. It is not all pastor that is like that, but it's a privilege from God. There are pastor that cannot take that. It's a privilege. And I bow to that privilege with, you, with all humility. Praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. A wife, just like a husband, defines the entire scope of your ministry to your husband. As a wife, the entire scope of your life, of your life, even if you are 70 years old and your husband is 80 years old, you are, your life is defined the entire scope, the entire scope to your husband. To your husband. Not your husband and your father. Not your husband and your family. Under the dimension of a wife, your ministry is only to your husband. Your ministry is only to your husband. Let me use this opportunity and challenge many ladies who kept their husband as their second choice or second priority. You love your father more than your husband. You love your mother more than your husband. You love your brothers more than your husband. You love your uncle so much more than your husband. Everything you do to your hus husband, you do it to everyone else. You do it to everyone else. You are not a wife. Brother, come. This is not my husband. Come. This is my husband. Uh, uh, brother, you are welcome. Honey, you are welcome. This is not my husband. <laughs> brother, brother, you are welcome. Who is now my husband? All of them have become one. Answer me now. You don't know again. Everything you know. <laughs> brother, brother, that's your... <laughs> Am I communicating in this place? These are things that sour your marriage. Everything you do to your husband, you do to every boy that is friend to you. You do to every brother that is friend to you. And our people say, I, when they cry, you cannot love your husband or your father the same dimension you love your husband you cannot love any brother any uncle, any member of the church the same dimension you love your husband what you give to your husband is special It doesn't matter how old 
old you are. Love increases as you get old. Love does not get old. Love does not know how long we have been together. Everybody you call in your phone. Oh sister, I miss you in church. Is him church missing or physical sin missing? Answer me now. Oh sister, I miss you in church. I didn't see you in the church today. I miss you. Is it church missing? Not a smile with me. Answer my question. <laughs> and then you call your husband, honey, where you did I miss you? So which one now is your husband? Talk to me. Which one now is your husband now? You are laughing. The attempts that you can never use to any other person. No matter how close you are as a husband, as a woman, except to your husband. Except to your wife. Everybody's not the same. The you can't do everything to everybody the same thing. The way you treat others, that's how you treat your husband. You can't. Because it is said, you have left. When you left and joined, you left your father, you left your uncle, you left your brothers, you left the friends in the church, you left your old friends, you left everybody plus the new one you come to know. You have left them all. You are joined to him. That dimension, this kind of dimension of a wife is a dimension that creates an office for the man to feel like the man in your life. The man will feel like the man in your life. Yesterday, when you started, you when you are serving in food, you bring good tray, you dress the table. The other day, I remember when I married my wife. Sometimes I would say, is it because your, your mother was alive? Sometimes I jovially said it. While on bed, then they bring me water to wash my face. They will tell me, honey, honey, they don't break. I will say, oh, I will turn. They present me, that is our culture. They will present me water. I will get up from bed and sit down. Sometimes on the bed, I will wash my face. They will give me towel. I clean my face. Then, now go out to take care of other things. Then I used to also see, in those days, if I'm not ready for food, when they have served food, and your husband is not ready for food, there is something they use in covering the food. Abi? Abi, women leader. <laughs> there is something they use in covering the food. So, I think we lost some of our things in Brutu. So, I don't know how my wife finally, whether she went and buy it again. When we, we, all these are our transfer, 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 transfer. So many things are missing, so many things. So, three, is it not two weeks ago? From about three weeks ago, every time my food is served, Though my, I have a special plate, my wife have a special plate for me, I have a special cup, I have a, everything special, clap for her. She's a great woman, everything special. But me, I've, me I've, I've long forgotten that they used to cover food. So one of the day, as I just came out from the room, I sat at the dining table. I said, Chileke, new things are happening. <laughs> Am I communicating here? And as I was saying, I remember, I said, where did this clock all come out from? I go, look at me. It's not the one I used to know. It's another one, oh. Maybe that one has lost. And she has been looking for a way to get it. 
Are you understanding me? And maybe luckily for her, she has finally found it in the market and she has bought it. I liked it. In fact, that day the food was going right inside the bottomless of the stomach. <laughs> Clap for my wife. The food was really descending really to the bottomless part of the stomach. And every area of the stomach was stuck. Do you know that there are some food you give to your husband? As they get up, they are still hungry. You they laugh, mommy. <laughs> oh God. Let me tell you, the soup you cook in your house must be according to the way your husband likes it. The making curry must be the exact pattern that your husband likes to eat. And if you are a wife, you your husband like me, if my if I press curry, curry no press my hand, bounce back, I can't swallow it. And so if I finish eating that kind of soup, food, and I get up, my belly go day empty. I'll be a smile. <laughs> There are some of you you like soft curry, isn't it? Very soft one. When you eat it before you know you are okay. If I eat soft curry, just watch me. I will just turn around a few times, I will go peace. As I don't peace so. <laughs> Look at uh, my vice pres my youth president is smiling. They are all in my club. <laughs> Praise the Lord. There are food you present, you think you don't present soup. The thing he no tests to his test. Yesterday I gave my wife three thousand. I didn't have much. He said yesterday or day before yesterday. I said, honey, just manage something. He said, what do you? I said, no, go to a melon. No, we don't know the kind of melon they are selling nowadays. The melon of nowadays is very terrible. You don't know what you are eating again. And so. He said, okay, what do I say? Okay, do anything or any other thing, but just go away from melon. And I went out. And I came back now. Small thing was placed on the this. I look at it. I cut my eh? And I pressed it. It was the same pattern. My my style. As I press, I press me. I press, I press. I say, okay. <laughs> Said. Then I put it inside, I put it in my mouth. Wow! And I swallowed that lump. I asked her, Is it that 3,000 naira? Nine bid. He said, hey. There are some of you, you cannot manage your husband in his, in his trial moments. And you call yourself a wife. You hold the money. What did 2,000 naira go do? You forgot that there was a time he gives you five. There were times he gives you eight. There were times he gives you ten. Today that two thousand is coming out. Why don't you do two thousand indeed? When I finished mashing that thing, Abia, I told her, please keep it. When I come back from church, I would like to, to mash it again. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So you are a woman. Your life is totally for your husband. You cannot hug another man. You cannot hold hand with another man for too long. Your husband should not even see you in something like that. You must be totally set aside. So your office is for your man to feel, for you to make your man to feel like a man in your life. That is the dimension where you bring the king out of that man. When you make a man to feel that you are the only man in his life, in your life, you have end up making the man to feel like a king. You have made the man a king. And any man you make a king, whatever you ask that man, you must have it. You are laughing. 
any man you make a king and he feels that this woman is making me a king. What do you call your husband? Ne. Papa or boy. Where you day? Then they look for you. Why some people are calling their husband my heart? Why some people are calling their husband my king? Why some people are calling their husband my my angel? I mean, uh, my hero. Your own when your husband is sleeping, that is the time you he push one table, go like the brother prayed for. No, 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 no. The man go jump up. Say, what's be happen? He said, sorry, dear. But there are some women when their husband is sleeping, they are tiptoeing. Show me a virtual woman. And I will show you a wife. There is no man that is wicked. I'm coming. Let me. Oh, you have men that are wicked. Ah. Wait before you conclude. Praise the Lord. Somebody say, I love my wife. Somebody say, I love my husband. Once you hear my voice, everywhere quiet. That is the dimension where you bring out the king. Let me, let the man know, make the man know that you are not like any other man. Before you know a man that is wicked, let the man know, make the man know that he is not like every other man. Don't give him an occasion to feel disloved. Don't give that man an occasion to feel that there is something you are loving more than himself. Let the man know that he is the Lord of your life. Give him the special part. Let him be number one. We'll continue next Sunday. Let me show you something. You are. Let the man know that he is exclusive and you have to demonstrate it in every possible way to make the man know that he is your king. He is your king. Now, by number one, by looking physically attractive. For your husband, I know. I know the question that people will ask. Eh? Maybe he not give me money to buy. Eh? He not give you money to buy. Before you were married, were you walking naked? Before you were created, did, were you born to say that as I they come at once a man marry me? I can no longer take care of my, I can no longer buy my tights. I can no longer buy my brazier. I can no longer see a good skirt in the market that I like, that I will wear and make myself relevant before my husband. Then he will see it and then on his own, he will add and continue adding. Were you created to be They say, what I'm looking for. Were you created to be, as the man marry you, you don't marry all your wahala. Nothing, nothing, you will not, you will not do anything, even I, I, I mean a perfume of 150 naira that you will not even buy. Even your powder to rub your face as a young girl when you wear, you used to buy. Now that you are married, you are now a luggage, <laughs> a luggage package gave to the man that the man he is going to make your hair, he is going to help you brush your teeth and remove those black dots on your eye and wash your armpit to be clean and bath you. That is the man that is everything. Is that what you want to say? Is that what you were created to be? That you are you are you were locked, your father package you. 
Before now, your father they manage you. They give you small, small. Now, when you don't marry now, they don't package you, carry you, give. So when you go, you just sit down as a lock of wood. Pokum. When something they pass, you get money for pocket. You like them. You look and come on eye. Say, eh, if not better husband I marry, no before give me money, man, I buy that thing. If you buy the thing, your finger go go, go burn. Men, do you love me? Men, do you love me? All the you, do you love me? <laughs> if you take your money, buy waiting you like. That when you wear, it's shaping you. When it shapes you, the day you want to cause for commotion in the house, you not come. You put that perfume of 150 here, put the other one of 50 naira here, and you, you just swing yourself past, and the man turn because every time a man hears a scent that pleases him, he must turn to look. And when he turns to look, he said, turn upside down. And he will ask, Is that my wife? He said, Yes. Before you know, he will start walking close to you and be laughing. If you hear me shout a big amen. We are going to end our year in an excited moment. In all our service. We'll try. So, by now you should know. You are already aware. That physical attraction means a lot to man. It is you the woman that kills the love your husband has for you. So I love my wife, yes. I know, Pastor, I love my husband. I did everything with him, but he doesn't love me, yes. Now you kill the love. You are the one that kills the love. But in this service, love shall be restored in Jesus' name. You are the one that killed the love. You should know that physical attraction means a lot to men. Physical attraction means a lot that you, that you, and they look for something. No, I look for something that is flat. That you have gone, uh, give me that your book, uh, this book. <laughs> that you have gone 100 children to the man, and, and, and you don't understand what I'm talking about, women. <laughs> Are you understanding what I'm talking? I don't want you don't say oh, smart children day here. You don't understand, mom. <laughs> praise the Lord. I say praise the Lord. And the whole thing has gone to sleepers like and has even increased in size. Some have gotten to this level. And when it <laughs> When it is released normal, and your husband is about coming back, and you know that there are two things that attract him, appearance, and uh, something like this. I, I'm not making any something. Uh, you know that when men see something like this, they will uh, be turned around. That is why, you see what I, I'm talking about, that when we, there are sometimes we will share ourselves and we will not be using a uh -huh. Then you do that thing of tear. Uh, that one that you used to do at the back level. I'm talking to the women. That thing of tear. And since oh God no give money to buy that thing, you have to leave the slippers to just remain the slippers like. Uh? <laughs> and then when visitors come inside the house, they see the man chest slippers. They see your chest slippers. Who is the man in the house? <laughs> Come on, wave your hand and shout a big amen. I say, wave your hand and shout a big amen. So, if you are not aware, you are hearing it now that men, your physical attract appearance as a girl, as a woman, matters more, means a lot to men. 
Are you getting me already? Do you? I'm not. I'm not talking about being seductive. When I'm talking about physical appearance, I'm not talking about seductive. I'm not also talking about nonity. You know what I mean by nonity? That's nakedness, state of nakedness. I'm not talking about that kind of uh, uh, dressing, nakedness, transparent. Uh, uh, dressing well. Are, are you understanding me? You dress well as a wife. Love comes as a man sees you. Men are moved by what they see. Pastor, he tell, we know they even, uh, how do he see you? How do you appear? How do you appear in his face? Him, I don't even know what I exist to. How do you appear? Even if it is a wish, there is a way a woman will appear. A man will look swallow saliva and say, Chineke, blood of Jesus. It doesn't matter the anointing oil or the anointing that is in your life, whether on your head, whether, um, how do I put it now? Jesus is written on your forehead. When a woman dress well and appear, your neck, even if it's stiff as a man, must be torn because of what? The appearance. Sometimes the appearance of a woman will push a man to love to be close. A woman's appearance always draw. It has a magnetic power. What did I say? So some of you that are looking for a husband, in your house is where you stay. You just lose God because nobody's there. It's only when you are coming outside that you package. You just lose God. In my side where I come from, we are told that a woman, first thing he does, she does when she wake up from bed, is to go straight to the bathroom, bath herself, knit herself, dress well, and come out before she starts doing anything. So that there shouldn't be any occasion, any man by any error will spot you in, un, in, in your unbalanced stage. So when we talk about physical attraction, we are not talking about turning your face to monkey, yellow, green, blue, brown, pink, orange. Let me say it. I'm going to say it in a paraphrase way. I have some people that comes, I want to marry. Who and who do you have? I share them. Some of them, I will even tell them that somebody is coming to spot you. But that same day that they are coming to for that person to spot them, they are dressing is open. Look, Christianity does not make you stupid. God, why did God create us all beautiful? God would have created us ugly. But God loves beautiful things. Christianity says me you only do akara, the waka. Fine. But be sure say that Akara, when you did do so, he will give you us back. Because we still get thread. We still get what? Thread. We still get other devices. The Christianity say when your head dirty, may you know wash up. May you they take and they pass. You are a suitor. You are looking for a man to marry. May you they take and they pass people. As you they pass, young boy, as you they go near them, they hear your smelling hair. As they hear your smelling head, they imagine when they marry you, how their house will smell rich. Some mouths, they don't wash it. Uh, the man that loves me will take me the way I am. <laughs> Be careful. There is difference between love and lust. A man can look at you and feel that you have a package he wants and he comes to you, marry you and pay your bride price. When he gets to the house, that love turns to lust because what he was looking for is not in you. It becomes a problem to him and the love dies and becomes lost. Then you'll be crying, my husband. Update yourself. Come and tell somebody, update yourself. See, we are not in that era of very early, very early, very early. The Lord is coming. Now he's very now that very, 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 that time they say very early, very early, the Lord is, now is very early, very early, update 
it yourself. That you are a wife. Don't forget that you were young, a young girl. Don't forget the things you do that attract that man. Suffering is not even involved. Are they suffer? It's, it's not even involved. Because if you add suffering to the love, the love of the, that marriage will go down, will die. Make your husband to know that you love him and you are a king. I know a woman that has two skirts and two blouses, but she has never appeared on text until God changed the condition of her husband. The day God changed the condition of her husband, her husband took her to boutique to buy her clothes. She was crying. He said, I thought you don't know. He said, I know. My heart, my mind was feeling like dancing, but there was no pocket money in my pocket. But now that I have, and during that time that there was no money in my pocket, I saw you. You have never, you have never made me to see shame. You kept yourself as if I have. Now that I have, I will show you that I have half. That you know the financial state of your husband. You know the financial level of your husband. You now decided to cause the world to shame him. And you think he will be happy with you. You think that he will be, he will praise you. We know get. That is why you, you, are, you, are, you are walking like that. Let everybody know how poor he is. Men, are you happy with me? You are very happy. Abby, I say we are very happy. <laughs> yourself. Cover your husband's nakedness until things bounce back to him. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? Are you hearing what I'm talking about? But I've seen so many men, they are dis displeased, displeased with the way we dress. So, so, so I'm frustrated. You see some of you, some, some women who are not here. Some women, when you look at them naturally, with their... <laughs> now look at this woman now. You think man no go check him? Do you see her appearance? No good, wait. No good, his son don't carry head up. Oh. If it, <laughs> the, look at her, look at, look at, look at her. Come and ask her age. She is finer than some of our young guys. Who believe that the, the, the mountain must come? The husband must, mama please go and sit down. The husband must come. I went to a church to pastor. Do you know what happened? Every Sunday morning, all the women wear slippers to come to church. Some, as they, they pass to give offering, when they hear the smoke of the firewood they use in cook. The men look like they don't have iron. My wives know it. I will be asking myself. I decided to go through all their house. They have TV, they have good things, they have other things. What is happening? Now one day, now I carry Bible. Dirtiness is a sin. Uncleanness is the of God. When you see a pastor preach a message, it might not be for you. Don't criticize it. It might be helping somebody else. I'm going to continue by. Should I continue next Sunday? Because I've not even touched the king part of it. Please, don't play with God. Don't play games with your husband. Any man, I don't care. Don't play game, oh. Don't play game with your husband. Please. Ladies, don't play game with your husbands. When your husband say, tell you, say, my honey, where? Okay. Okay, I have a question. But now, okay, now talk now. Now talk. Praise the Lord. Any, anytime your husband tell you, hey, come, come and escort me, go to my friend's house. He wants you to make him to be like a king. But he knows that time you will, that time you will go carry fine cloth, look, no be him by him. You push him. You bring another, no be him by him. You push him. You got another one. He don't know how to take by him. Push him. You can't go look for a cara and then wear. Then carry her tie. Tie like those olden days women when they don't tie up. They go turn and come, turn not and come not and for here. <laughs> come not and for here. Then you can't look older than your age. And then the man is busy dressing there. 
and then you enter, you look at this slippers, it's fine, look at the other one, fine. You carry that bathroom, these slippers, one small hole there in the middle. You wear, you come and say, you never ready, and then the man came out with canvas and jeans. And face cap. Like me, I love it. No be today that they wear them all. Now I take cash my wife. <laughs> so, and I know if you stop them. Those are the things I have as old as myself. Praise the Lord. And they wear short nika, they struggle with it because of ministry. <laughs> Praise the Lord. And they struggle with it. It is a part the things that had been used to me, and those are the things I, I wear. So, uh, and then the man will not will look at you. He knows that you have something better than that. But he will just keep quiet and you follow him. You will be displeased. You will be embarrassed. You will go disgrace him. They show the world, say, this man, wicked man, see how he dress? You see me? He they punish me for house. If it is you, will you be happy? If it is you, will the love flow? <laughs> So be wise. A wife. Are you a wife? When was the last time you made the man God sent to you feel like a king? When was the last time you make him feel like a king? Let me tell you, in every brother there is a king. It takes a wife to bring out the king in the wife. Here I stop. You see, fasting. Let me just jump and go to that place. Fasting. When the king was in the midst of his noble friends, you know, we preach the other side, we don't preach this side. When the king was in the midst of his noble friends and he won his wife to come and make him to feel like a king. To show his noble friend that he and his wife always make the king to feel like they, they bring out the kingly, not only the attire he wear, that he bring, the wife can bring out the king nature in him, in his side of himself. So he said, call me my wife to come and show me, to show the beauty, to come and display my kingly beauty, both in throne and in my marriage. But instead of fasting to understand it in the other area that the king was understanding, like some of us will always criticize fasting and be begin to see the king to be a dubious, a useless man. The king wanted him to bring out the kingly, the kingship inside of him and show the world that he's not only a king on the throne, but at home in marriage and everywhere that he's a complete king. But instead of fasting to come, he refuses. How did she end? Any woman that refused to bring out the kingship in a man will lose his marriage. Are you, are you understanding what I'm hearing? I'm, I'm saying here. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? That one you they prefer outside, so you go go meet her. And let me tell you something. You may not know the worth of that man that is there with you doing mumu until you left him. And look at the opportunist. Esther. How did Esther got to win in that contest? Other will go and shake their nyash before the king and dance and pass. You know they, you know they do the king anything. But when Esther come, as he come in the king, uh, the kingly in the king's life begin to. Every time Esther will come and dance, the thing will stir up both the brain, the muscle, and everything, the muscleness of the king. Everything that is what you are supposed to be as a wife. That every time you are appearing before your husband, everything inside of him should become a king. And look at what happened to Esther. Let me close here. If you want to 
to get anything from a man. Woman, if you want to get anything from your husband, bring out the king in him. If you want to get anything from your husband, bring out the king in him and see. That thing when you tell and say the other time, honey, I bet I need five thousand. Because you got a shaped voice. Was, what do you want to do? When you never bring your the king out of your husband, when you ask her for money, what do you want to use it for? You go there. But when you bring out the king out of him, look at Esther. Esther was the problem. He needed something from the king. He, he said to the king. Can you come? I'm preparing a feast for you. The king said, feast? How could a queen be preparing a feast for her husband? Feast? It's okay. Esther, what is the occasion of this uh, feast you are doing? He said, to honor your royalty. Are you hearing me? When the king heard that, Esther is saying that this eating that we want to eat is to honor his royalty. Is to make him more king in his life. To recognize him as the king of his life, of her heart, of everything. That the king is everything. While the king was eating, the word was ringing in the king's heart. The king got up and said, wait, let us stop eating first. Esther, what do you want? Tell me, I can share my kingdom into two. You take one part, I take one part. Why did he say that? Esther have touched the king. Have brought out the king inside of her husband. So as you live here today, that man, you, there is no, there is, there, there is a lion in a man. Every brother carries a lion. There is a lion inside of them. And every man also have a lamb. When you can turn, when you can catch the lion in your husband, you can catch it, you can suppress it, then you will see the lamb. And when you see the lamb, the lamb doesn't shout, the lamb doesn't bark, the lamb plays with you, the lamb plays with you, the lamb hugs you, the lamb is everything. I feel the anointing running in my bones. Whatever that is rising against your home is caused in the name of Jesus. It's caused in the name of Jesus. If anybody here will say that I didn't feel well in assemblies of God seven up, he's not telling the truth. Hallelujah. I say, hallelujah. All the men in the house say with me, my father, my father. My father, my father. Only the men, oh, and the youth, and the young boys, teenagers. Lift up your hand. I will come for you. Say, my father, my father. Father, my father. Help me. Help me. To bring out. Bring out. The queenship. In my wife. In my wife. In the name of Jesus. Pray. The that we may say with me. My father. Lift up your hand. Say, my father, my father. In the name of Jesus. Help me to bring out. The kingship. The kingship. In my husband. Open your mouth and begin. The queenship. The kingship. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Are you praying? It's an assignment that both of us must do. Christian, I allow my wife to pray for me. I'm praying for her. Pray for your own husband. Help me to bring the kingship out of my wife. My husband. The kingship out of my husband. The queenship out of my wife. Let me make my wife to feel the queen she is. Let me make my husband to feel the king he is. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Give God a clap of praise in the house. See you next Sunday. We shall continue it next Sunday. Thanks for watching. This is the Restaurant TV. Hope you are blessed by this message. Please, if you are blessed, drop a comment in the comment section. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. And also share this video to your friends. And also subscribe so when live transform messages like this are posted, YouTube will send you notification. And among all, I bring you a message from our Lord Jesus that as you pursue anything in this life, you will overtake and recover all. Once again, thanks for watching. This is the Restorative.